Alright, here's here's the sweet text manual I'm looking at here. <laughs> Some species are slower than humans in most all skills. Some classes, these races may seem to have very few skills because they haven't quite earned the first level of several of their skills. Centaurs are notable. Okay. This isn't a bug or an oversight. These species are just particularly weaker than humans at these classes. Humans are good at everything, because they're humans. Oh, look at all this lore for elves. Oh, it's because there's like a bunch of different types. <clears throat> elves have good intelligence and dexterity, suffer in strength, less HP, have more magic, advance more slowly. High elves share the same attributes as common elves, but their strengths and weaknesses are more pronounced. Okay. Grey Elves uh, excel at using short and long swords and bows, but are poor at other fighting skills. They're excellent at all forms of magic except necromancy. Deep Elves are uh, bonus in all forms of magic, including necromancy and earth. Adapt to physically to the environment, can be shorter and weaker than other elves and losing all coloration. Poor at hand-to-hand -hand combat. Excellent at fighting from a distance. Sludge Elves. <laughs> No proficiency with bows or swords, nor they have an aptitude in the traditional areas of elven magic. On the other hand, they are superlative transmuters and are comfortable dabbling in necromancy, poison, and elemental magic. As fighters, they are often more dangerous unarmed than armed. Weird sludge elves. Yeah, we got we got a a spinner's choice, Reg, where the the person who spins the wheel gets to choose the platform for the next game, and he picked DOS. And then the next wheel spin was an Omega, and we just ended up getting a DOS game off the Omega spin, so. <clears throat> That's why we have two DOS games in the middle of the Super Nintendo block. Uh, dwarves are short, hearty people. Particularly dangerous when using dwarf weaponry. Hill dwarves are extremely robust, poor at magic. Excellent hand-to-hand -hand combat for every axes and bludgeoning weapons. Good at armor and shields. Port missile combat and pole arms. Only forms of magic which they can use with even a minimal degree of aptitude are earth, fire, and conjuration. And they're about the same, about the same rate as an elf. Mountain dwarves. Advance faster. Slightly worse at fighting. Slightly better at more civilized pursuits. Like what? <laughs> Halflings. Half the size of a human. Um, in small villages. Very small and among the least robust of any species. They're only average at fighting. They're good with short blades and missile combat. Very stealthy and good at dodging and stabbing. Poor at magic. Except enchantments and for some reason translocations. They advance as fast as humans and they cannot use large weapons. Okay. <clears throat> Gnomes are... Slow level, okay at magic, limited earth and air, very poor at air. They can use their empathy with the earth to sense their surroundings. Huh, okay. Hill orcs, uh, low reserves of magical energy. It's robust as dwarves. They're good at using most hand weapons except short blades. They're not particularly good at missile weapons. Works are poor using most types of magic except conjuration, necromancy, earth, and fire. And they advance as quickly as humans. Okay. So if you want to be like a fighter, a hill orc sounds like a strong option. Kobolds, small, excellent agility. Uh, they're better at halflings at summoning and necromancy. They survive on carrion and are carnivorous and can only eat meat. They level as quick as a human. Okay. Undead. Uh, mummies and ghouls, okay. Mummies level slowly, half as slow as a human, and in all skills except fighting, spellcasting, and necromancy. So, the increase in level, they become increasingly 
Touch with the powers of death. We cannot use some types of necromancy which only affect living creatures. The side effects of necromantic magic tend to be relatively harmless to mummies. However, their desiccated bodies are highly flammable and they do not need to eat or drink and are incapable of doing so. Hmm. Ghouls like to eat raw flesh to survive. Gain strength from it. They aren't good at doing most things. Although they're decent fighters and due to their contact with grave can use ice, earth, and death magic. Naga. Reasonably good at most things and advance experience levels at a decent rate. They're naturally immune to poison. Can see invisible, have tough skin, but their tails are relatively slow and cannot move them around as quickly as other creatures' legs. This only affects their movement rate, all other actions are normal speed. The body shape also prevents them from gaining full protection from most armor. Every now and then a nega can spit poison, which gets better as they level up. Okay. Ogres and ogre mages. <clears throat> Great physical strength, bad at everything except fighting. Uh, can only wear robes, cloaks, and animal skins. Can eat almost anything, but they need to eat more than most races. Ogre mages. Uh, they're good at enchantments. Advance as slow as an elf. Okay. Trolls are like ogres, but nastier. They can rip creatures apart with claws, regenerate very quickly from even the most terrible wounds. They learn very slowly indeed, even more slowly than high elves, and need a great amount of food to survive. How many races are there? Holy sh- look at all the- oh, <laughs> so many races! Holy fuck. Gonians. Dragon hybrid. Some have breath weapons. They advance very slowly. Good at all skills but armor, which most of which they can't wear, and missile weapons. Centaurs move very quickly. Excellent with bows and missiles. Reasonable at fighting, but slow learners at specific weapon skills. They advance slow. Above average at using magic, and they need more food to survive. The Saxon demigods. Oh man. Uh, they have excellent abilities, strength and dex, extremely robust. They can draw on great supplies of magic energy. On the downside, they advance very slowly, gain skills slightly less quickly. Due to their status, cannot worship the various gods and powers available to other beings. Okay. Yeah, that's, that the stone soup is another 20 years of shit on top of this game. Spriggans, uh, poor fighters, terrible destructive magic. They are excellent other forms of magic and good at moving so that's not only quickly. So great is their speed that a Spriggan can keep pace with a Centaur. Minotaur. Good at physical combat, awful at magic, and they can wear all armor except for some headgear. Demon Spawn. <clears throat> Advance slow. Better fighting than demigods. Better conjuration, summoning, necromancy, and invocation. A lot of this stuff means nothing to me until we actually play the game. <laughs> Kenku. Oh man. I don't see Kenku very often, other than like Eye of the Beholder. It's it's not Dungeon Crawl Stone Soup, it's uh, Linley's Dungeon Crawl. It's like the predecessor to Dungeon Crawl Stone Soup. <laughs> but it sounds like they're pretty close ish. When did this even come out? 1995. I should update my, my stream title there. <clears throat> Kenku, experts at all forms of fighting, including martial arts. Or no, magical arts, not martial arts, sorry. Magical arts of combat. Good air and fire, poor ice and earth. Do not appreciate any form of servitude, and so are poor using invocations. Their light even bodies cannot sustain a great deal of injury. Merfolk. Do we need to be in water? <laughs> uh, agility is misjudged. They tend to be surprisingly nimble on land as well as in water. Experts at swimming, they do not fear drowning. Uh... Both martial arts strongly on thrusting and grappling. Okay. They prefer pole arms and short swords. They're 
good at water, magic, divinity, poison, ice. Okay. Sure. Character class is fighter. Fight stuff. Gladiator. Gladiators are pretty terrible at anything except bashing monsters with heavy things. Start with a nasty weapon, a small shield, and armor. Okay. Berserkers. Have the berserk ability, but they can't use spell magic. Hunters. Have bow and arrow. Hunting knife. Monk. Very little equipment, but can survive without weighty weapons and spell books. Thieves. Okay. Assassin. It's a thief who's good at killing. <laughs> Stalker is an assassin who's trained in poison magic. Crusader is a decent fighter who can use the magical art of enchantment to become more dangerous in battle. Okay, Reavers. Warriors who learn destruction magic. Death Knights. <laughs> Chaos Knights. Choose which god of chaos you want to worship. Get different powers based on which one you pick. Okay. Did we ever see? Oh no, we saw Crusader, not Paladin. Paladin is servant of the Shining One. Has many abilities of the fighter and the priest. He or she enters a dungeon with a sword, shield, a robe, and a healing potion. Priests choose your god. Cast spells. It's a priest, healer. Yeah. Magician is not a class, but a type of class. Magician is best at using magic. Wizard is a magician who does not specialize in any area of magic. Conjurer. Specialized. <clears throat> Specialist mages. Wanderers. Not learned any specific trade, they become a jack of all trades. In other words, they're terrible. <laughs> to kill monsters, get XP. Also receive one half experience for monsters killed by friendly creatures. Level up. Skills. See your skills by pressing the M key. The higher level skill, the better you're at it. Every time your character gains experience points, points become available to increase skills. You convert experience points into skills by practicing the skill in question. Fight with a certain type of weapon, cast a certain type of spell, walk around light armor, practice stealth. The amount of unassigned experience points show next to your experience total. Blue. You can elect not to practice a particular skill by selecting it in the skill screen, making it turn dark gray. I see. Okay. Fighting skills, various weapons. Being good at a weapon increases the speed in which you can use it by 10% every two skill levels. Okay. <laughs> Terrain skills, magic skills. Armor, dodge, stealth, stabbing. Let's make a powerful first strike against a sleeping or resting monster who hasn't noticed you. Okay. Shields, traps, and doors, invocations. Strength, damage, and how much gear? Intelligence. We cast spells and use some magic items. Dexterity, accuracy. Effectiveness of missiles, dodge, thieving skills. Well, Dexter is used for a lot. Armor class. Not damage reduces the damage you suffer. Innovation is for dodging. Gold magic resistance special. Items, yeah. Ammo, armor. Scrolls, potions. Ink staves, books. Carrion, miscellaneous, racial items. Pick up with the comma key. These games always have such, like, bizarre fucking key maps. Mutations. I see. So you can walk into, like, toxic waste and get mutated into something weird. Exploring the dungeon. Move with the numpad. Okay. Sh 
shift five on the numpad, you rest for 100 turns, or until you have points of magic return to full. Okay. Change the keys to perform specific functions by adding the macro.txt file. Okay. Cool. Monsters, miscellaneous stuff, score. Okay, well, I guess we can always look at the, the macro.txt. Well, that helps. Here's the keys. What? Slash 33 bracket 1s tilde bracket or slash 015. Oh, okay. That's, that's, that's helpful. I just want like a list of keys. <laughs> Please. Well, I guess we'll just have to figure it out. Yeah, well, it's, it's a dungeon, how dungeon crawlers work, typically, so it's no surprise. Roguelikes, not dungeon crawlers. This is an actual roguelike, that you can actually use that name and have it actually mean something. It's like fucking rogue! <clears throat> Uh, I don't know if it looked like we were, but no DPMI. Uh, uh, what now? Download. Find a DPMI file. There is the exe in a bunch of text files. That's not helpful to me at all. And this is right off of the Lindley's Dungeon Crawl homepage. There is no DPMI files listed here. CSDPMI store. Okay, C S D P M I start. Zip. Here it is. I got the DPM. It's apparently some weird DOS function that DOS box doesn't do by default. I see. Okay. Let's put that in there. Try that again. There we go. <clears throat> okay. Okay. Let's just be human. <laughs> human. Oh, Paladin sounds like a good starting class. Welcome to Sidor, the human Paladin. The shining one says, Smite the infidels! We have Falchion. 
14 hit points, no magic. Class 1, 11, okay. Already wielding the sword, okay. You see here a glowing whip. How do you... How do you attack? But you just moved into them. A. <clears throat> okay, I'm looking at net hacks commands because I'm assuming this might be similar, but of course there's no attack command because in all these games you just walk into the enemy to attack. Huh. Well, this is jacked. You're adjacent to a monster, moving towards that monster will cause you to attack it with a wielded melee weapon. Uh, no. <laughs> you are... You are full of shit, game. I'll have to use the arrow keys and not the numpad. Oh. But I can still move with the numpad. Awesome. <laughs> Here he shout. A scroll labeled Ujabavu. Didn't say resting was like shift five or whatever. If you press shift and five on the numpad, or just the number five on your keyboard, you rest for a hundred turns, okay? Five. These instructions are a little fucking wrong. Oh, there we go. So I have to, to move around normally, I have to turn numlock off. But to rest, I have to have Numlock on. Well, okay. Pick up club. No. Tales of Pagile. I've, I've only played a little bit of it. I'm not, I don't like roguelikes in general, so... The answer for, are you a fan of insert roguelike here, is no. No, I'm not.
I just, I, I hate doing things I've already done. So any game where I have to start all, the whole thing over when I die, I'm, I'm fucking out. <laughs> I have no interest. None. You are now a level two paladin. You died. What's a paladin? Senator the Slasher. <laughs> Slain by a hobgoblin. Choice of weapons. Let's take a maze. Oh, it's K. Okay. All right. Level two paladin. Yay. 
There's a dark trap there. Okay. Seventeen elven arrows. Paper better than a falchion? No idea. Meat ration. 21 poisoned orcish needles. Bats are annoying. Get out of here, bat. Me ration really hit the spot. Dissect a corpse. <laughs> okay. Send, descend. You're now level 3, Paladin. Experience leads to an increase in your attributes. Uh... Dex. Nagabardian? <clears throat> No, it's like net hack. Like you're thinking of scroll labeled Osedusibu Choo Choo Choo. <laughs> My favorite scroll. Ooze.
You were poisoned. Uh -huh. Snake is kicking my ass, you die. <laughs> this is why I don't like roguelikes. Because you can't there's nothing you do matters. There's no there's no way to get like invested in what's happening because you have no control over it. It's just nonsense. <clears throat> if I can't get invested in what's happening, then why why even play? <clears throat> yeah, like I just like I don't care. Like if I find like a cool item or not, I'm just like I don't I don't care. It doesn't matter. Thank you for the bits. Love to. I'm already wearing orcish windmill. Yeah, never mind. Never mind. <clears throat> A black potion. Blowing whip. Cool if I was like an actual helicopter. Or a motorbike.
Jawohl, ein Snake. It feels so slow down. Sweet. How do you use a scroll? Read a scroll book or Nothing appears to happen. <laughs> Tried. Does, doesn't even tell me what it does. Blink to where? You feel sick. <clears throat> you die. Sorry. One chainmail of fire resistance. Neat. Short sword. Bat, get out of here. There's <clears throat> money in like a weird aspect ratio. Even though I have aspect correction turned on, you enter a teleport trap.
beat the murder of heresy. Let's go. Scale of 1 to 10, how boring is this to watch? <laughs> I feel like this is pretty fucking dull. <clears throat> it's oddly specific. There aren't any stories about me. I'm really boring. <clears throat> There's the time I sat in my apartment in the dark and played video games. Or the time I like sat in my apartment in the dark and played uh, video games. Ichib? What the fuck is Ichib? Ichib screams no 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 no. You kill Ichib. You're now level 5 fighter. You're now level 6 fighter. Okay, sure. your blood. You're now a level 7 fighter. Okay. You're 
You're now level 8 fighter. What the fuck is going on? Why is everything level 8 me up now? This is fucking weird. Mac and cheese in a can? Never had mac and cheese in a can. That sounds pretty dire, though. I had, like, canned ravioli, which is fine. But mac and cheese? I've got a level 9 fighter. I'm now level 10 fighter. Is this a bug? If we like broken this game already. The only flavor is salt. Bleh. Why can't I use a buckler? Jessica is attacking me now. You kill Jessica, you're now a level 11 fighter. What? What is happening? to people? I have no idea. Tease throw. Doesn't look like there's any talk command. Doesn't look like it. Why would you want to? question. Given the option between stabbing and talking, why choose talk? At level 12. What is happening? This is so fucking weird. Describe a religion. <laughs> M. Check skills is M. Fighting short blades, axes, throwing armor, stabbing shields. Yeah. Snakes are absurd. Not level like a million now. Don't level up off the snake. Oh, well, looks like it stopped throwing infinity level ups at me now. Cumber? 
the fuck is that? Plus zero chain mail on the, the ring mail. Truly putrid. Mm. Good dungeon eating. Venom Saber. Dishes vegetable from the BFG. Oh, okay. Gotcha. Your short blade skill increases. All we full works. Killing my own people. Puff of flame hits you. And bats. Bat, get out of here.
Sling on the good miss weapons. Dwarven ringmail. Golden ring. How do you wear jewelry? First golden ring. Yeah, Sir Vortex, how's it going? Plus two ring of evasion. Ankus? What the hell is an Ankus? You're being weighed down by all your possessions. <clears throat> okay, I just googled Ankus and apparently it's some kind of beetle?
imp. Stop running away. I don't think I have any gen regen going on. I don't I don't know what's going on with this game. I don't know why we got like twelve level ups over the course of like a minute and a half. Yeah, you don't manually spend your skill points, they go up by practicing the skill. But because we leveled up so many fucking times, it's such a short window of time. We just have like a million fucking skill points. Like, I, I don't know if that was a bug or what, but... We started level 2 at as a level 3 character. And we left level 2 as like a level like 15 characters. <laughs> really odd. Yeah, this is Lindley's dungeon crawl. I've died to the poison from my weapon. <laughs> nice.
Oh, it's dead. <laughs> okay. Well, it's time to end the stream anyway, so. Thanks to everybody for coming by. I guess we'll keep plugging away at that tomorrow. I guess. <laughs> Maybe we'll flush it. I don't know. I have a feeling that's pretty boring to watch. Uh, but yeah, let's, there's somebody up here before my computer blue screen is scan randomly. Uh, Peeps is playing some Wizardry 6. That's cool. Check that out. Alright, see you guys later. Have yourselves a good one.